Okay, guys, we're back. And this part may look scary, but there's actually some good stuff here that I've noticed. You guys may want to look around and be careful of running into the things here, because you'll see why if you run into one. Just try not to run into one as best you can, especially at the level you guys are at. Especially the level I'm at. There should be a revive around here somewhere. There it is. Yeah, there's some very good items here that you've never thought of to get. There's some revives, there's some uh, pepper-ups, there's all kinds of stuff you can't get normally. There's a revive you can't get in Dagon. Oh crap, I almost ran right into that. Oh crap, now I'm trapped. Erg, gotta wait for it to disappear. Oh great, now there's another one. Am I gonna get out of that? No, I'm not gonna wait. I gotta wait. Ah, eh, you fail. Erg, no, no, ah. Eh, you fail. Okay, there's nothing else here. Put a bunch of old crap. So I'm just gonna escape. If you manage to get all the items without running into a battle, you'll be fine. And you'll be much more prepared for the next battle. And you're thinking just like me. Then you get the vault key and uh, you get a new partner. For the time being, anyway. And watch, I'll show you. He did join you. He's level one, though. Anyone that joins you starts off at a low level. Especially since you didn't train him yet. This is your new spell. You can actually find out about an opponent. If you manage to see all your opponents and do it all, you you've beaten the game. With that part anyway. I haven't done that yet. Nullified. By the way, you can also equip equipment here, so I'll show you where to get those. And where to heal, so you don't end up using so much healing stuff. So you don't end up buying so much healing and end up using it just to heal you. That would be such a waste, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would. Right here you can actually equip. You can actually equip new stuff. Yeah, fortunately you can equip stuff here. And for a long period of time, this will be the only thing you can get for for a belt, so please try and get that. I keep skipping over it. But if you guys get it, you'll be one step ahead of me. Because seriously, I keep skipping over the rope belt every time I go through the place. Okay, here's a rope that actually would help for a while. So I'll get two of them. Now I'll get one in one of these. So I can actually get one of these. It actually starts a kind of uh, chain of events that actually leads to something good. 
I'll share with that later when I finally get the thing. I haven't actually completed the whole chain of events. It's good to equip some good stuff. After you've done that, then you can actually sell your old stuff and get some new. After you've done that, then the rest is old history. Once after, I'll show you the uh, the uh, healing place. This is the healing place, yes, for the next part, for the first area. If you're not injured, however, you don't need to heal. And every time you level up, you don't, you don't really need to be healed. Fortunately. Oh, and this secret I kind of skipped over a couple times. It may look like it's cut off here. It's not. Trust me. I kind of... I kind of skipped over it. Don't worry, guys. I skipped over it, too. You're not the only one. Who thinks they skipped over it their first time up going? Or did they know it? Then you're one step ahead of everybody. Cause I'm sure there's some people that probably forgot. Don't worry, I'm just looking for something. Like there it is. Right over here, some more cards, and down there, some more cards. Be sure to look around. There's plenty of stuff. At least two things in each area. Already found the two in here. And in there. There's only one thing in here, because you get something from this guy. So what do you think? Next episode, we reverse these guys? Yes, we should. Next episode, we're going to reverse some frogs. And get a reward. So, without further ado, this is Everyone 689 wishing you happy hunting. Bye-bye.